how are you finding it being back? Back at it now a couple of weeks. How, how's training been going? How's everyone settling back in? Um, it's been fabulous, really, to be honest. Uh, after four months um, of lockdown, I suppose, in particular, you know, to be able to get back into that type of environment where there's people and uh, you can converse and uh, chat, uh, walk on a few bits and pieces. Yeah, and to be fair to the players, they're, they're in great form after coming back. Uh, well freshened up after the few months off, uh, as, as are all the coaches and everybody working around them. And uh, yeah, it's been a very, very good two weeks. How's the the panel all fit and, and raring to go? Have you any niggling injuries or, or any new lads coming in? Um, yeah, listen, there's, there's a, a couple of lads after joining the group this year. Um, Cahill O'Neill from Kokora, uh, Colin Coxon from Belly Brown, and Tommy Hayes from Dune have, have joined us. And uh, Barry Murphy from Dune has rejoined us. And uh, they've settled in really, really well, um, making a huge contribution. Uh, and it's always great to see some fresh faces about the place. And uh, yeah, uh, it's one thing our group is very good at, is uh, introducing you know new members to the group and helping them to, to, to settle in very, very quickly. And I'm sure that's something that's needed, John, with a, with a team that, that did it all really last year, 13 games, 13 wins. You need that. I suppose influx of of new talent and and Barry as well coming back in to to drive him on. Yeah, listen, you, you know you can't have enough competition. That's the bottom line, and these guys are are able to mix it, and they're very very exciting young players. You know they have to start their career at some point, and you know from our experience over the last number of years, it takes a bit of time to settle in. It takes a bit of time to find your feet, to get used to the whole regime of the, the training regime and so many nights a week, you know, involved in it. Um, balancing that then, which obviously for the two guys, Callum and Cahill, they're doing their leaving search. So trying to balance that with that at the moment is a, a challenge for them. Um, but, you know, uh, you have to start somewhere. Uh, they've come through the academy. They're well prepared for it. And from what I've seen over the last two weeks, um, there are two lads that will be involved, please God, with Limerick for quite some time to come. John, I suppose, has there been any difference this year in that uh, you've had no club games prior to the start of the inter-county season, you know, with regards to kind of, you know, getting a read on fellas or form or anything like that, or, or is it just a case of every county in the same boat and, and drive on with it? Oh, yeah, sure. Listen, it was it was the strangest of returns, you know. You find yourself in Raquel of a fine summer, sunny evening instead of... Uh, a wet, windy, freezing, cold November for pre-season. There's a world apart. You know, the pitch was in great order. It was solid, you know, lovely coat of grass on it. To be fair to the lads that are looking after the pitches, they have a great job doing them over the spring. Uh, even though it's been a cool spring, and hasn't been, there hasn't been a lot of growth, but the pitches are in good nick. So I'm sure all the counties are enjoying this type of return to play you know, in these conditions, as opposed to what we would have been accustomed to. So that's different and very different, really. You know, in long evenings as well, you know, uh, it's just a complete flip of what we would normally be facing in November, December, January, uh, February. Like, so, you know, massive difference. Uh, I think the split season definitely has a lot of uh, support out there from the player. and. Finding the beans over the last number of years, it takes a bit of time to settle in, takes a bit of time to find your feet, to get used to the whole regime of the, the training regime and so many nights a week, you know, involved in it. Um, balancing that then, which obviously for the two guys, Callum and Cahill, they're doing their leaving search. So trying to balance that with that at the moment is a, a challenge for them. Um, but, you know, uh, you have to start somewhere. Uh, they've come through the academy. They're well prepared for it. And from what I've seen over the last two weeks, um, there are two lads that will be involved, please God, with Limerick for quite some time to come. John, I suppose, has there been any difference this year in that uh, you've had no club games prior to the start of the inter-county season, you know, with regards to kind of, you know, getting a read on fellas or form or anything like that? Or, or is it just a case of every county in the same boat and, and drive on with it? Oh, yeah. Sure. Listen, it was, it was the strangest of returns, you know. You find yourself in Raquel of a fine summer, sunny evening instead of uh, a wet, windy, freezing, cold November for pre-season. There's a world apart. You know, the pitch was in 
great order was solid you know lovely coat of grass on it to be fair to the lads that are looking after the pitches they have a great job doing them over the spring uh even though it's been a cool spring and hasn't been there hasn't been a lot of growth but the pitches are in good nick so i'm sure all the counties are enjoying this type of return to play you know in these conditions as opposed to what we would have been accustomed to so that's different and very different really you know in long evenings as well you know uh, it's just a complete flip of what we would normally be facing in november december january uh february like so you know massive difference uh i think the split season definitely has a lot of uh support out there from the player and coaches and backroom team members who would have ordinarily been out in the the wits uh the wetsuits on a, on a november and december even uh, no comparison yeah no comparison